What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey, it's Jess. Most important news of the day, it has dropped below 70 degrees in Miami officially, so I'm in a sweater, obviously. Today we are here to talk about hair, the gym, and hair color processes. So this is my natural hair. As you can see, it's relatively long. Back in 2014, I did do balayage, um, did it a couple times, let it completely grow out. And back in 2017, I decided to go ahead and cut my hair. So I'll kind of talk about the process a little bit um, of all of that. And then I'm actually deciding to do balayage once again to my hair. Um, I think after this crazy 2020 year, it is definitely time to try something new. I wanna talk a little bit about the process of what balayage is. Not only the pros and the cons, but especially the reasons on why I'm deciding to do it with working out so much and washing my hair. If that sounds good, please don't forget to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and check the little bell so you get notifications on all my new uploads, content, and videos. Because balayage doesn't technically start all the way at the root, you won't have to touch up your roots as much unless you have natural color that you normally dye your hair with. Um, this is kind of hand painted, so it's just gonna naturally fade. A few of the pros for balayage include the fact that it will always look natural, the fact that your stylist will be hand painting the highlights in your hair, which means that it gives more time in between you needing to go back for touch-ups. Everyone always likes that perfect sun-kissed look, and that's exactly what you will get with balayage. That's our our second pro um, you kind of get that sun kissed effect without the actual sun exposure to do some damage to your skin so you will have that sun kissed look without actually needing to be out in the sun. Balayage is a wonderful way to have your hair dyed make it look very natural and sun kissed without very much upkeep and that's perfect for someone that's always in the gym. So one of the big reasons why I decided to do balayage in my hair was so that I could keep up and maintain it during my time in the gym. A con, and you can kind of see a con right now. No matter what, once you bleach your hair, it's always kind of considered damaged. I definitely think that this is just outlying damage that has just been done. Next con, which I don't really consider a con because it is buildable and you can kind of customize, is the fact that it may take a few times to get that blonde that you're looking for, to get that lightning that you're looking for. A third and final con is that any form of bleach could be really damaging to your hair. Overall, balayage is a wonderful way to get natural looking lightning highlights in your hair without very much upkeep at all. This is going to be the before portion so you guys can see my hair right now. It does have this like reddish tone if you can see in the light. Um, I can, I have this sort of kind of that natural red overtone that I have. It is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Okay everyone, it is time for me to head to the salon and get my hair done. I am so excited and I will see you there. So here I am just sitting down in the chair. Um, Suze is going to be doing a dry cut on my hair. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous, but she ended up cutting about six inches off dry. Just um, to get all the dead off, it was kind of crazy. So here you go, <laughs> you can see she's gonna be cutting, I guess it wasn't quite six inches yet, about, what is that, like oh, four or five. She ended up cutting another one to two um, wet afterward, but this was just so that all the blonde at the bottom wasn't taken off. Here, um, we are starting to divide the hair, divide and conquer. <laughs> when you start to see tin foil, that's how you know it's real. <laughs> Over here is the bleach, so you have to bleach the hair first, um, and obviously after that you can tone it. But here she is, um, kind of hand painting the pieces of hair that she pulled so that it has a really natural, flowy look. Trust the process, people, trust the process. So here we are washing the hair. As you can see, she's using a purple shampoo. So typically purple shampoo is the toning shampoo that uses the color purple to directly brighten up the yellows and the brass of the blonde hair that we're doing. Um, so as you can see, she's working it through my hair and then washing it out. So the purple um, works by using the color purple to color correct the warm tones in the blonde hair. And now we sit and wait. 
at this point we are just about done she is blow drying the hair and then um, she will curl it a little bit a little bit of like wavy beach curls um, so at this point yeah it's pretty much done I'm so excited and I wanted to show you all the full reveal I just got back from the salon and I'm so thrilled with how my hair turned out. So the process took exactly five hours. I got to the salon at 9.30 and walked out at 2.30. It definitely was a long day in the chair, but I am so amazed at how my hair turned out. So as you can see, there are definitely some low lights and highlights. chopped off six inches of my hair right off the bat and then we went in and started doing balayage. So Suze is amazing. She's a stylist here in Miami and works at Crystal Beauty Salon. I will tag all the salon information below. Because I work out at the gym four to five times a week and do a minimum of two days of cardio a week, I definitely am one of those girls that have to wash their hair almost every single day. The low maintenance and ease of not having to get touch-ups every six weeks or even every month is such a relief. Balayage is so universal. It fits women with short hair, long hair, any type of texture, any age. It's wonderful and super, super easy to maintain. It's been almost a week since I got my hair done and I wanted to do just a really, really short bit to show you um, kind of what my hair looks like after a week. I would see all these girls get their hair done and it looked so beautiful, but I was like, what about after a professional styles it? And I just wanted to, to show you guys after a few days what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I loved making it. Please make sure to like this video, comment below on some other ideas you have for videos that you would like to see me do. Hit that subscribe button and check the little bell to get notifications on all my new uploads, content, and videos. If you celebrate, I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving holiday. See you soon!